So, ground rules? Master Kuix let me do whatever, long as I wasn't in her way. Do what I do, and you'll be fine. We make it up as we go. Nifty. Question two, what's my job on the ship? Hate standing around, makes me antsy. It's a big ship. There's plenty of work. Do what comes naturally. Reprogram the computer to call me master? Done. We'd better get moving. Let's go save the galaxy. Ever wonder who you'd be if the Jedi hadn't taken you in? Some days, I don't feel like a Jedi at all. Been there, still going. Every day. I should be dead or worse a thousand times over. The first months after I escaped Korriban? <laughs> Exciting. Not easy staying alive when you're a ten-year-old Sith fugitive. No friends, no food, no home. Leaving Korriban sounds hard enough. How'd you manage that? Helps if you're small. A head for Imperial transport schedules doesn't hurt. One day, a big freighter dropped off slaves and left with a stowaway. Jumped ship on Nar Shadda. Spent eight years sleeping in alleys. Good times. Finally got caught stealing a starship hyperdrive. <laughs> Should have seen Master Kuwait's face. I wondered how you two found each other. Stealing from a Jedi. That took some fortitude. Didn't know she was a Jedi. Lots of people wear robes. Still remember when Master Kuix realized I was Force-sensitive and asked me to be her Padawan. It was... weird. Nobody ever gave me a choice before. Still getting used to that. If the Empire conquers the galaxy, freedom will be the first casualty. Along with Phaseball, Mom, and Sweet Flatcakes. I get it. Point is, I know what I'd be if I weren't a Jedi. And I'm never going back. You're not like most Jedi. That's a compliment. No offense to the Council, but if I stood around moralizing all day, I'd need a padded zero-G cell. That's why you and I get along. We're not afraid of diving into trouble. Trouble's only a problem if you can't handle it. Jedi need to get out more. Using the Force? It's fun. Mind and body supercharged. Everything's more intense. What about something that's already intense? A uh, kiss, for instance. Some experiences are downright explosive. If you do them right. Should probably get moving. Galaxy in peril and all that. That whole Jedi aren't allowed to feel emotions rule? I don't get it. Sure, anger's bad. Why cross off everything else? Anyone tell the troops they can't enjoy shore leave? Would we have a government if senators couldn't throw wild parties? They almost treat us like children. Pretty far past almost, don't you think? We're expected to throw ourselves into the fire? Fine. Let us off the leash. No reason we can't live it up a little before we die. You could start any time. Or do you like talking more than doing? You asked for it. See? I'm all about the doing. To be continued, tough guy. The Force is with you, now and always. Master Orgus? His power is growing. Only you can stop him. You must go to Tatooine. Stop who? Why Tatooine? A starship crashed in a desert canyon. Use the Force. Find it. Who were you talking to? The holocom's not even on. This is crazy, but Master Orgus was standing right there. He spoke to me. He's not alive like that, T7. Master Quix once told me powerful Jedi can live on through the Force after they die. Not a social call, then. What did Master Orgus say to you? There's a crashed starship in a canyon on Tatooine. I can almost see it in my head. Then hold that thought. Next stop, Tatooine. Ever since our dance with Darth Angrel, I felt different. Good different. No more Emperor in my head. Sick creep was dragging me down, holding me back. Being free from that? Nifty. What the Emperor did to you was wrong. And he'll never do it again. All that time he stole. Years I could have been... me. Sad thing is, there's plenty more people out there still under the Emperor's thumb. 
the Emperor won't be enslaving anyone for much longer. That's a promise. I'll give you this. You're consistently on task. We've still got a galaxy to save. Let's get back to it. Know what gets me? Wasting all our time blowing up bad guys. Imagine how much better the galaxy would be if we focused on helping the needy, not fighting Sith. I wouldn't mind a nice, long vacation with someone special. Noted. But after that? It's time Jedi got political. Letting Senators run the Republic? Not working out. We get the big picture, have the power to make things better. We should have control. Tell me I'm wrong. Senate's useless. If Jedi were in charge, there's nothing we couldn't do. Exactly. Tell you what, I'll be Supreme Chancellor, you run the military. Play to our strengths. No point running for office until the war's over. Let's go win it already. This is a nice ship. Shame we don't spend more time here. Always up to our neck in bad guys, finding new ones to beat up. Fun, but not relaxing. Destroying Sith is my favorite way to unwind. It's restful for them too. Permanently. You know what they say about all work and no play. We could use a hobby or something. I can't recommend any hobbies, but I could help you with an... or something. About time. Starting to think that kiss was a fluke. Glad we finally got that out of the way. Whoever set all the funds in the anticipation was just lazy. Speak for yourself. I'm already anticipating next time. Down, boy. Be mindful of attachments. Now we have reason to come back to the ship more often. Convenient. Need a time out. Got something on Narshada that can't wait. Some old friends are in a tight spot. Promised I'd help. Simple delivery. Done in a jiff. You've never mentioned having friends. I was popular before I joined the Jedi. Now I'm really popular. Narshada has lots of refugees. And the huts? Not known for their charity. People are starving. My friends don't need anything fancy, just med packs and nutrient paste. Stuff I can easily provide. If we do this, I'll ask these friends for stories about your misspent youth. I'll have them make up some good ones. Get me to my friends and I'll handle the rest. Kira! You're here! And bearing gifts. How's everyone holding up? Better now. Can't believe it's really you. A Jedi. You're so different. Kira's more than a Jedi. She's a hero. You must be Kira's master. It's an honor. I still remember that little girl. Bundling up in extra layers of clothing. Trying to look bigger and tougher than she was. Hey, it worked. Add enough layers and nobody knows who you are. You were protecting yourself. From what? Refugees become victims real easy, but not me. Inak, distribute the food and medicine. Our people have waited long enough. Go now. This famine, your fault. Our people suffer because of the slaughter you committed in our name. The Arkasaks. Who is this man? What's he talking about? Name's Darshin. Been the leader here forever. We have... differences. Urkasags were bad news. Made us their personal entertainment. Robbed, killed, and worse. For fun. I paid the gang a private visit. Asked them nicely to back off. Things got ugly. Gangsters died. You butchered the Urkasags. Made a public spectacle of their deaths and spread terror in our name. Everyone fears us. Sounds like Kira took care of your gang problem. Blasted right I did. Gangs know not to mess with my friends. Our reputation frightens away those who could help us. Yet desperate people continue to seek refuge here. We can't provide for everyone. I'll get more supplies to you. I protect my people. No. Enoch was wrong to bring you back here. Your presence does more harm than good. Beggars can't be choosers. Should your people suffer because you're angry with Kira? What she did was wrong. But it doesn't mean you should turn away her help. I'll make it up to you, Darshan. Promise. Your promises mean nothing to me.
Everyone so excited you're here, Kira. They want to say thanks. Can you stay a while? Not this time, but I'll be back. Take care of each other until then. Funny trivia. That gang on Nar Shaddaa I wiped out, the Erkasags, tried to recruit me away from the refugees. Said I'd be better off with them. They had credits, food, cute little clubhouse. All I'd have to do is kill a rival gangster. If you joined that gang, we probably wouldn't be here. Still the hardest choice I ever made. I'd been living in a cargo crate for years, eating leftover food from the promenade. Had the force and Sith training to use it. Could have been running that gang if I wanted. Instead, I did the right thing. Mostly. Violence is wrong, I get that. But my friends are safe because the other gangs are scared of ending up like the Urkasags. Ironic. You protected people you cared about. That's a good thing. Nice of you to say. Still don't know if what I did on Narshadal was right or wrong, but it was necessary. Been doing some light reading lately. Amazing what's tucked away in the Jedi archives. Still hunting down exact details, but get this. The Council can grant Jedi the right to attach under certain circumstances. Heavily monitored, of course. Probably need a special license, but still. Interesting. Don't you get a little thrill from going behind the Council's back? Who doesn't? But I worry about tarnishing my perfect reputation. We wouldn't be the first, you know. I've even found records of Jedi who were married. Had children. Not that I'm suggesting we, you know, I, I, I like things the way they are. If there's any chance we could have the same happiness as normal people, don't you want to try? Never said I was opposed to making changes. Mm, eyes are tired. Too much reading. Need to relax. Meet me in my quarters in two minutes. Actually, sneaking around can be kind of fun. I'm suddenly motivated to find out more about the Council's special permission. Let you know when I do, tough guy. When I hear something crazy, I've done more fighting as a Jedi than during my entire Sith training. I wish it didn't have to be this way. On the bright side, still alive. Not easy playing backup to the greatest Jedi warrior in the galaxy. Won't even pretend we'll ever be equals, but I've got some new moves to try out next time we're in a fight. Don't be so enthusiastic. Those new moves are designed to hurt people. Nobody who doesn't have it coming. So, when do I get my own Padawan? Always wanted to be a teacher. It's true. I'm learning all kinds of things from you. Helps that you're an excellent student, but that's not what I mean. Here, pretend you're my Padawan. Got a hypothetical moral dilemma for you. Say you could only save the Republic or the Jedi Order. Which would you choose and why? Don't think. Answer. We're all that prevents the Sith from conquering the galaxy. Without us, there'd be no Republic. Excellent answer, my Padawan. Have a sweet flat cake. See? I'd make a nifty master. Learn from the best after all. Finally got the skinny on how we become an official Jedi twosome. Short version, not happening. We'd only ever see each other on Tython. Senior council members would review us monthly, make sure we stay... detached. The clincher is, only Jedi who were raised by the Order from birth get permission. I'm automatically disqualified. We can do what we want. We don't need permission. Maybe not, but we might need a good alibi someday. Master Satil, smart lady. The longer we keep things going, the harder they'll be to stop. Not gonna ruin your life, tough guy. You want out of this? Just say so. I'd rather face down the whole council than lose what we have. For a man of action, got away with words. So much for upholding the Jedi Code. Guess we're outlaws. We'll find a way to live with the guilt. Somehow. Won't be easy, but we have to try, and try, and try. Nope, still feel guilty. You'll have to try harder next time. Better get back to saving the galaxy. Don't want people to think we've gone soft.
Keep wondering what it'll take to put the Sith Empire down for good. Kill the Emperor? Destroy Korriban? No reason to stop there. The Sith have plenty of other strongholds. Exactly. We could stay busy the rest of our lives. No victory over the Sith ever lasts. We wipe them out, they turn up again. Doesn't feel like we're winning. The cycle of war has to end. Maybe you'll discover how to break it. Solve a millennia-old problem by myself? No pressure there. Guess there is one thing we can count on. No matter how many times they come back, the Sith always go down in flames. Alright, tough guy. We need to have the talk. Know the one I mean? Whenever you call me tough guy, I know kissing is somehow involved. Don't pucker up just yet. Just because the galaxy might implode any second doesn't mean we drop everything else. We're good together. Question is, what kind of life are we gonna have? I'm not fighting this war for anyone but the woman I love. The one who makes this ship into a home. I'll spend the rest of my life with you, Kira. If you'll let me. Of course I will. Thanks for asking. Forever sounds about right. Shame we can't throw a party and invite everyone, but this'll do. I'll send the others on a mission. We'll have the ship to ourselves. Make sure it's an especially long mission. A girl could get used to this. Probably best if I don't, at least until this war's over. Sooner we get rid of the Empire, sooner we can enjoy moments like this full time. Let's get cracking, handsome. Just got an interesting hollow message. Childhood friend of mine. Think you'll want to see it. He's gone. Everyone knows that. But his voice, still in my head. Can't sleep. Nothing makes sense. The Emperor is dead. Why is he still talking? You silenced him, Kira. Show me how. Please. Name's Shuri. Trained with her on Korriban before I left. She's a child of the Emperor. Is there a chance the Emperor survived? Is he trying to contact his slaves? Don't look at me. I'm just the messenger. Shuri's gone rogue from the Empire. Holed up at one of our favorite vacation spots. Voss. And whether or not we can help her, we sure don't need another crazy Sith wandering Voss. We'll set course for Voss immediately. I have Shuri's coordinates. We'll confront her together and figure this out. Stay back! Stop talking! You're not real. None of you. Calm down. We're plenty real. You! No. There's no hope. He won't be silent. He puts words in me. Come with us. We can teach you how to defy his will. The Emperor's gone, Shuri. He can't control you. He wants me to flee? Uh, no. Uh, attack. Set fire to Ord Mantell. Wait, that's wrong. Freeze the oceans of Manan. Changing commands. Which are lies. What is truth? Can't live like this. Help me. Kill me. Death isn't the answer. We'll find another way. No other path. Death brings silence. Enough. Leave us, Jedi. She is our sister. We will make her whole again. Tell me who you are and I'll consider it. Don't. I remember Tanak. He's vermin. We are children of the Emperor, like her. We understand what it means to be severed from him. With our assistance, she will regain control. Without it, she'll die. There's nothing you can do. Nice story. Got a better one. We take her to Tython and she gets real help. She's coming with us, but before we leave, we'll reduce the surplus population of annoying Sith. Kill me, and you condemn her. Tell the Jedi how you summoned me. You begged for my help. I... yes. He'll rearrange the words. They won't hurt anymore. I'll be silent. Your story changes every two seconds. I agreed to take you back to the Jedi, not hand you over to the Sith. They want to take you from us, Shuri. Will you let them? 
or fight. Don't listen to him. We can help you. No! No more voices! Been thinking about that bad party we went to on Voss. Raises a lot of questions. If Tanak was being honest, the children of the Emperor are still hearing his voice. That bother you? Tanak could have been lying. There's no point worrying until we know more. Too bad he got our only lead killed. Poor Shuri. Plenty of Force users keep jabbering long after they're dead. Emperor might be one of them. He may be reaching out to his servants, manipulating them towards some new goal. Ugh, can't he just die already? One bright spot to this? I'm not hearing strange voices. The Emperor and me, definitely over. Still remember the first time I met you on Tython. All I could think was, why is Master Satil fawning over this guy? Not like I didn't understand the attraction, it's just... She's old. Never really stood a chance. No one else even comes close to you. I'll be keeping it that way. Point is, I know a good thing when I see it. And you're not getting away. Someday, let's retire from this Jedi business. Spend the rest of our lives having fun. I enjoy fun, but what about our legacy? We're already breaking the Council's rules against relationships. Might as well have children, too. Alright, but you're in charge of cleaning up after them. Force-sensitive children make big messes. Here's to the future, tough guy. <laughs>